Hey everybody, it is Real Shade Ball, you guys, and I'm under the weather, like, as you said, I got my wig on, I didn't feel like doing nothing to my hair. I'm at work right now in a conference room. Like I said, I'm still heightened, because after that threat, I, I'm not playing. I kind of look a mess right now, because I just got through going to the dentist um, earlier yesterday, like right after, first I worked all night, then I went to school, then I went straight to um, the dentist. <coughs> Didn't even have time to stay home and take a crap. Anyway, um, I'm about to put just a little makeup on my face a little bit because I look horrible. Anyway, I got a root canal. My first root canal ever. Ever in the history of my dentistry years of not going to the dentist. Anyway, um, anyway. Yeah, my lunch time is almost over. Anyway, I got a root canal yesterday. Now, this dentist, the dentist I was telling you guys about that was going to charge me an arm and a leg for all the work that I needed to be done. They told me I need three root canals. I only need one. They said I have fillings. They said they was going to, um, um, they didn't even talk about extracting no teeth. And they just said I need braces. So I was excited because the only thing I heard was braces. Forget about the fact that I had, like, cavities and needed a root canal and all of that and fillings. I was just excited about braces. That's all I heard. Now this new dentist that I went to, because I changed it, I changed my um my insurance. So I don't have to pay so much. Dang, that's gonna charge me an arm, leg, an artery, a heart, a, a rib, or whatever it's gonna charge me. Y'all mind if I put my makeup on by when we talk? Yeah, my head is itching. I got on this wig. Anyway, and I got on my big dog t shirt. Welcome back to the WWE. I'm so glad you're there. Anyway, and thank God for your healing. And anyway, so I'm not anyway like that. Oh, no. Anyway, so I was um. So I went to the I went to the dentist, this new dentist last Saturday, cause I was going through so much, like I was going through a bad. I was eating licorice, and it kind of bit down the wrong side of the teeth, and it, oh my gosh, I'm telling you guys, it. It was enough to bring a strong man to tears. Let me tell you, toothache ain't no freaking joke, and y'all know. Come on. So I got a root canal yesterday. First, last Saturday he he extracted my tooth. That was giving me problems. I could barely eat anything all week. I had to eat stuff like applesauce and, and soups and stuff. And I had to kind of take the antibiotic along with the Motrin they gave me or whatever. So yesterday, I'm like, why are my appointments so fast? Yesterday, uh, the, I went to the dentist and a lady asked me, so what are we going to do today? And I was like, what needs to be done? She was like, if I was you, I would take care of the root canal so that way it won't hurt. So I'm thinking, okay. Take care of the root canal, then um, and then later on I'll make another appointment to do my fillings and get rid of this shark tooth, that long one. You know. Anyway, the reason why I'm not so ashamed about it anymore because I'm doing something about it. You can't sit there and be like, oh, my teeth are ugly, they're yellow. They just do something about it, and then I won't feel bad about it. It's always been my insecurities, my teeth. That's always been my insecurities. There's never been somebody that somebody said to me it's just that every time I talk that's the first thing I see is that tooth but anyway so I made an appointment after they oh my gosh that root canal took so long so I had to lie to the dentist and say how long is this going to take she said well usually it takes um up to maybe two hours depending on how affected the tooth is or whatever because he has to get all the affection out or whatever so I was just like okay like I said y'all know how a tooth y'all know how if y'all out there who had a root canal, y'all know how it goes. I don't really have to say much. But anyway, so I said, because I got to be at school at at 2, but I already went to school. But they don't know that. I'm trying to go home and go to sleep. I feel clammy, and it was kind of raining yesterday, and I got to take a shower. So I don't like feeling like that. And so um, it took about an hour because we kept taking breaks. And plus, I had um, he had to shoot me again because I was starting to feel a little tingle. He had to give me some anesthetic again because I started to feel a little tingle. And then we had to wait a few minutes so I can get even more numb. And he told me, he said, okay, I'm going to try to finish, don't move, whatever. So after that, boom, he was done. I was out of there. I went there at 11, and I got out like at 1 o'clock. So I was at the dentist for two hours yesterday. <laughs> then they kept having to take, they took two x-rays just to see what kind of job they was doing or to see how far they had to go or whatever. I'm telling y'all, man. And then when I was leaving, oh my gosh, y'all, when I was leaving the nurse, I mean, when I was leaving the dentist's office, 
I started to feel the numbness wear off. And I started to feel all that pain of the, that work that they did for that root canal. And I was like, oh, my God. I was like, oh, my gosh. I really have cramps. I said, Lord, I really have cramps. I want cramps. I want cramps because I can handle cramps. But to go through that, toothache. I don't have any children, so I don't know what childbirth feels like. But some people say childbirth is worse. You know what I mean? But to me, the worst pain I've ever felt was the toothache. So now that they took care of, they extracted this tooth, and now they're going to, uh, they did a root canal with this one. Now I'm going to get some fillings, and they're going to extract a tooth again after that. Then a deep cleaning. And after that, I guess I keep going periodically so they can check up or whatever. I'm telling y'all. So that's what's going on with me. But they didn't say nothing about braces. So I'm going to ask, I mean, will I need braces? Because I want them still. Even if they tell me, oh, no, you don't need them. I want them still. And I don't want those stupid Invisaligns either. Because to me, if I got braces, I wouldn't be ashamed of them. You know what I mean? Because some people be like, I don't want braces, you know. Because they're so ugly and they're nerdy. Not to me. Give me braces. I want to look as ugly Betty and Josie Grossy as possible. I just always wanted them ever since I was 12 years old. I don't know if you guys see my previous video. I think it's called Brace the Music or something like that. Where I was going to... um. I wanted to send you guys on my journey, and the only reason why I haven't, on my dentist journey, and the only reason why I haven't really updated y'all with videos with that is because I had to change my insurance. I'm not about to pay somebody life, sign my life away, giving y'all every dime that I own just to get my teeth fixed like that, and it's not the good, it's not the good kind of insurance. So I have to switch to a couple of things. That's why I suggest in my other video that y'all check. And I ask a lot of questions. How much do I need to pay? How much is the co-payment? What do I need to pay? I always ask questions now. Because I don't want no surprises later on. So. So, yeah, that's pretty much what I've been doing today. I'm just like, I, I, um, I'm um, taking a break. I do not feel good, you guys. My tooth is just like, it's not hurting. I can deal with this pain. I did take some medicine, but I can deal with this pain. But it's just best not to be in any kind of pain at all. Because I'm not trying to deal with this. Oh. oh, my God. Bring the strongest man down. Oof. Toothache ain't no joke. It's like the it's like a ferocious tiger or a ferocious T-Rex seeing a little bug. And it's like, ah! That, like I said, I'm not a man, so I don't really know. Maybe a man can handle a toothache tougher than me, but, hmm. Anyway, I want to let you guys know about my new dentist experience. Um, They doing work pretty fast. I was supposed to go this Saturday. That's coming in to get my um teeth done. And I'm like, uh-uh, because I can't eat. Y'all just distracted this, too. Y'all just did the root canal. I still can't eat anything. They still say eat something soft, like a bread, yogurt, applesauce. Um, Be careful with soups and hot stuff. And, of course, no hard stuff, no chips and all that for the first 24 hours after the root canal. And I'm like, y'all, y'all trying to starve me. And he wants to do my work kind of fast. I'm like, can we wait for a minute? So that's why I had to, I had to, um, instead of this Saturday, no, instead of this Tuesday or Thursday, I said, can we do Saturday? Because I'm trying to eat. You know what I mean? Let me see if I can get a salad in there. I may just call them, actually, and ask them when I'm able to eat. Because they didn't tell me. I don't know why I'm putting all this makeup on. Our shift is almost over. It's almost 5, five no, it's, I think it's a little past 4.30. And we leave at 8.30. But still. Y'all. But I'm glad I'm finally getting my, um, taking care of business and getting my, um, my teeth fixed and all these other things like that. Like I said, it's always been my insecurity for me. And I understand that people won't know unless you say something. Like, I never noticed that until you said something. But to me, <clears throat> I just want to share with y'all, my YouTube family, my journeys and what I'm doing on my channel. And just keep y'all posted, you know. And to me, it's just to let y'all know a little bit about me. You know, so y'all can see that this is how I do things and all that other stuff. I don't know why I'm doing all this. It's not like I'm about to meet nobody. All right, y'all. I'm about to get back up and finish a little bit more of my work and sit back down. I already told my boss I'm taking breaks because I got this root canal and I don't feel good. So 